Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my Heavy Gunners build. It's for bloody people only. You're gonna need power armor as well for this build. I will be showcasing another power, uh, another Heavy Gunners build without power armor. So let's do this. Go to your punch card machine. Your edit special, the points are gonna be Strength 11, Perception 1, Endurance 10, Charisma 7, Intelligence 10, Agility 8, and Luck 9. So, I'm going to show you guys the legendary cards you need for this build. You're going to need Charisma, Endurance, Strength, Perception, Intelligence, and Luck. You need to max out all of them, except Charisma and endurance the two per cards you can max out if you want to have extra points but i haven't maxed them out now you need bandolier so your weapons ammo weigh 90 percent less bullet shield so you do more damage while holding a heavy gun weapon expert heavy gunner heavy gunner and master heavy gunner so you do more damage you also need traveling pharmacy because you can't put on a chemist backpack while in power armor perception i usually use pick locks all the pick locks and now and then i do use vats in my with my heavy gunner weapons so i use concentrated fire So in endurance, it's going to be life giver. You want to max that out. You also want automated skeleton, so you don't take that much damage. Fireproof, so you take less explosive and fire damage. And radical, so you get more strength. In charisma, you're going to need bodyguards, so you do more damage while having teammates in your team and getting more perks with it you're gonna need stranger numbers you're gonna need travel agent i like to use that because i travel a lot around the map so 30 percent less cap spent is good for me then tenderizer and then friendly fire so you can heal your teammates or any other npcs at any event you're doing with a flamethrower or any flame weapons you use that's why I like to use friendly fire because I can also heal my teammates. Intelligence, you need nerd rage. So and you need power users, so your fusion course lasts two times longer. You're gonna need stabilized, that helps you do more damage and have more uh yeah, do more damage and have better accuracy. You're also gonna need batteries included, so your energy Ammo weighs ninety percent less. Gunsmith level three or demolition expert number level three, depending what you're gonna use, explosive or not. And agility you need action girl or action boy, depending what gender you are in Fallout or appearance. You also need adrenaline, so you can do more damage. And luck, you don't need serendipity. That's if you're running without your power armor, but you can replace it with. I usually replace it with one gun army and then my then you have starch jeans you also have class freak on maxed all and usually I don't use a uh, good with salt so I either replace it with any other perk uh, card except that one but now that I have food on me, I usually use that. Usually I replace it with either Serendipity or um, we do more damage, better criticals and vats. I usually replace it with those two. But that's the per cards. So that's why I like to use this build. But let's go on to the mutations. The mutations are as followed. A general, a general reaction, bird bones, carnivore, eagle eyes, egghead, empath, empath, herd mentality, marsupial, scaly skins, 
speed demon and talons this is how my special perks are going to look or special points after and you want to of course use your gamma gun without the power armor and you're going to need exactly that mods as shown there and you will see exactly when nerd rage gets activated as you can see there that's when nerd rage is activated and now i'm going to go to the testing of the weapons so i'm at my west tech camp there was a super mutant so that's why there was an explosion but as you can see i'm showing that i'm at west tech and now i'm going to showcase you guys some of my weapons i like to use i have uh, Anti-Armor, 25 Weapon Speed, 250 DR, Gatling, Plasma, you exactly need all these mods. The Prime Receiver, Rifle Barrel, Standard Magazine, Reflex Side Circle, and Beam Focuser. Then I have my Anti-Armor Tactical Gatling Laser, 25 Weapon Speed, 90 Reduced Weight. You need a Refined Beta Wave Tuner, Aligned Long Barrel, Reflex sides dot, no muzzle. Then I have a bloodied light machine gun, 25 fast fire rate. The mods you're going to need for this is the automatic receiver, long barrel, full stock, drum magazine, and muzzle brake. For the holy fire, what I have here, you're going to need, the mods you're going to need is napalm tank, long barrel, huge propeller tank, and that's all the mods you're going to need. I like this flamer because it does a lot of damage as I will show for you guys later. Then I have my Vampire's Explosive Place AP um, Light Machine Gun. It's a very good weapon. Same mods as the Bloody Faster Fire Rate, but it's a very, very good weapon in my opinion. I use it a lot and I will be showing you guys it. Okay, now let's do the testing. So, I'm going to show you guys how much damage each weapon does. And while we do that, I'm going to explain to you which is the best weapons to look for on each weapon. So, starting off with this weapon. Let's see how much damage it does. It does 77 and does but 90 damage to the head. This is the Vampire Explosive Place AP one. And I'm going to test the Bloodied 25 Faster Fire Rate one so let's see how this goes it's very fast as you can see it does a lot of damage and i also prefer this weapon you mainly want on this weapon you want quad explosive 90 reduced weight or 15 reload or you want bloodied explosive 90 reduced weight or 15 reload or you want Vampire Explosive 15 Reload. On the Anti-Armor one, this is a perfect one. Um, it's a boss killer, really good weapon in my opinion. It does a lot of damage, does 200 to 400 damage, depends where you shoot at. 400 to the head, that's without vats, and 200 to the body, as you guys will see but let's test this weapon so let's see how much damage it does like i said 200 to 400 damage uh 200 to the body and about 400 to the head as you guys will see here in a few seconds now i'm also going to explain to you guys what other weapons you would like um well, what legendary stuff you want on other weapons, but it does 440 damage to the head, as you saw there. That's a very good damaged weapon. Now, let me just kill a few more super mutants here, and then I'm going to test out another weapon. So, I'm going to test out the anti-armor, 25, 90 reduced weight, Gatling laser. This is a really good weapon to have, and it's also a boss killer in my opinion it does a lot of damage and it's a very good weapon now there's a lot of heavy gunner weapons i will be explaining explaining this after i i will also be showing the holy fire but as you can see this weapon does do a lot of damage it uses fusion cores as ammo unfortunately but i will be showing a video on how to get a lot of fusion cores 
does do very good amounts of damage i like this weapon a lot but let's see the holy fire the holy fire is one of my favorite weapons because it because it does a lot of damage but you mainly want vampires 25 faster fire rate or break 50 percent slow or bloodied also other heavy gunner weapons are Gatling Plasma, Minigun, Paper Shaker, Ultraside Gatling Laser, Gauss Minigun, Harpoon Gun, Gatling Laser, Gatling Gun, 50 Cal, Cryolator, and Flamer. That's all the heavy guns and plasma caster. I hope you guys liked this video. I would be uploading more builds in the future, like the melee build, shotguns, and pistol build. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. and. Have a good day.